I got inspired one day to make some cigar holders. I figured it would be a relatively simple project and something I could knock out over a weekend. I keep way too many things in the garage, so I needed to rearrange a few things to get the dust collector in place. I flattened out some wood and began cutting some strips out. I needed a piece of wood at least 3 inches thick so I could drill some holes through and you'll see that later. After I cut out the strips, I laminated them all together. Each piece was between 3 and about 3.5 three and inches thick. Once that all dried, I pulled the clamps off and started squaring everything up. I haven't made a crosscut sled yet, big mistake of mine, but eventually I'll get around to it. For now I'm settling for screwing the board of maple into my mater gauge. After squaring up the edges, I went back to the planer so I could quickly flatten out some of those imperfections. Lesson learned here. Some of the pieces I was feeding through that planer are way too small, not long enough to catch on those rollers while being cut. Again, lesson learned. Don't put small pieces through the planer or else you'll get some nasty kickback. Fortunately, nothing too significant happened. You just got to be careful when you're frishing objects out from underneath that planer. Make sure everything's turned off and use something else to kick it out of there. I was able to put that longer piece through the planer okay, but for those smaller ones, I resorted to just sanding them. It's pretty quick. Pulled out the orbital sander, used about 60 grit on it, and it went through just fine. Here I'm using a pencil to make marks for where I'll drill through so that I don't mix up which side I'm working with. I'm also using the branding iron as a measuring tool to mark out how wide I'm going to cut out each pair.
Over at the drill press, I'm using a one and a quarter inch Forstner bit to drill through each block. It also helps here to set the press to a very low gear, and it'll help chunk through that block much easier. I cut out six blocks, and I'm drilling a hole through each one. This will give me 12 cigar holders to work with. When you get to the bottom of that drill press, make sure you have some kind of a backer piece of wood so you don't go straight into your equipment. Then you can move over to the table saw, cut out each pair so you have two separate pieces to work with. I had a good idea of making sanding sticks with some extra PVC pipe I had laying around. These were about the same size of the hole that I drilled through each block, but turns out they were just slightly oversized. So what I'm doing is using some quick cure to attach different levels of sandpaper to each of these different sticks. While that was drying, I turned to something else. What I like to do before sanding is apply the brand. I was using a Benzomatic heater and it took only about three minutes to heat up this branding iron. After that, press it on for a few seconds and there's the brand. So here's where I got a chance to try out those sanding sticks, and unfortunately they didn't work out quite how I hoped they would. They were just a little bit too oversized, and I wasn't able to hit all the surfaces right. After giving this an honest effort, I pulled out the orbital sander and started going through the grits. I set it to about a medium speed, starting at 100 grit sandpaper. I began shaping the edges while also getting rid of the unevenness and marks from the drill. When I was finished with that, I moved up to 180 grit and then 240 grit. The sticks weren't a total waste though. At the very end, I was able to use the stick with 240 on it and again, smooth out some of the rough edges. My favorite part of any project is the finish. This one in particular, I felt it a little special to pull out a cigar while I was doing that finish. I was using Howard's cutting board oil over top of this. Once that set and dried for a little bit, I poured the excess back into the bottle so I could use for later, and then I used the cutting board wax over top of this. <laughs> 